welcome back to day two. Um, this one probably won't be as monetized easily as the last one, but it is 12 o'clock. The music is blasting, and we are just opening up our booze. But we didn't start here. The day started much earlier. Good morning. Uh, it's wet outside. Are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Both. Oh. <laughs> Let me close the back. It's snowing. I have not seen snow in like two years since moving to California. Really? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I mean, you can't really see it in the viewfinder, but it's definitely snowing. Uh, I can't catch any. Mm. Just imagine this dandruff. It makes licking Ooh. the snow so much better. Gross. <laughs> we're off to get some supplies at the store and then we're heading right to the booth today. It's still, what time is it? Like nine in the morning? A little early. It's a little early. We don't open until noon, but we've got a little bit of work to do. Ooh, okay. The snow's making it really hard to, to vlog and also see where I'm going. Yeah, don't run into that tree. So, got here a little early. We're gonna go ahead and put some stuff in our locker and then go set up the rest of the booth. Get a little snow on ya. Our boot looking all shiny and pretty. And who's that tall, dark, rubbered up guy behind you? Wow, he's cute. I'm <laughs> <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Look at you. I Sorry. thought I'd go with Smoky Gray because it goes with my beard. Yeah. Can you give us a twirl? Ooh. The floor is really slippery. <laughs> yeah, careful. <laughs> kind of dangerous. <laughs> the floor wasn't the only thing slick about this video. How about that opening? That took way too much time. And welcome to part two of our Mr. International Rubber Trip. Yes, this is part two. If you're watching this before part one, it might be confusing, so go watch that if, if you haven't already. So I hope you're ready for some fun. Um, this video starts off with just exploring the space a little bit and getting to see some of the other booths, from puppy hoods to educational organizations to the wonderful little padded play space. MIR really knows how to rub their attendees the right way. I swear to God. Sorry, that joke was a stretch. <laughs> Let's look. We're gonna look at the other booths. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. Excuse me, can you tell me about this booth? <laughs> All the puppies. Yay! Oh, 
Hello. Hello. Sitting area, and then of course the demo pit. All the trouble happens here. Just polishing daddy. Got rub him for luck. Small circles to buff. <laughs> okay. I'm, not, I'm not a Buddha. <laughs> Pro tip today, to get into rubber, it's always important to lube up first. Do you ever just have a moment where you wonder why your camera is covered in lube, but then you like know why your camera is covered in lube? Then we assume the position. Ready. Oh, all the way down. <laughs> I did it this. <laughs> Put your head through the hole. Now it's a halter top. I'm a top. <laughs> it is officially 12 o'clock, but the music's going. Our booth is up, and we are all rubbered up. Nice and slick. A little sweaty, too. It probably won't be super crazy until at least this afternoon, but... We already got some people in here making some sales. Ah! Uh, watching your watch the safe word for like a long time. Uh, it's been, yeah, I, I saw you first at IML. I was too shy to come forward. And, oh my god. Uh, can I get a picture for a yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah. No, now I'm watching. Wow. Oh, whoa. Wait, let me get closer. Okay, now I can't do it. <laughs> Come on! Now it works. <laughs> now Vogue! 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 Vogue. Ah. Whoa! I think karate chop. <laughs> and that's what you missed. Hungry. So I'm gonna skip away from the booth real quick. I just wanna say, like, life hack for kink conventions. Come early on the first day if you're looking for something to buy specifically. What are, you, what are you yelling at me? You're vlogging! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you know to say what, for... you, you know what makes really good content? When someone yells at you, Hey, you're vlogging! While you're vlogging. Okay, yeah, vlog? I'm okay. going to <laughs> Come early the first day if you want to buy something specific, but also, if there's swap meets, come early. Cheap and easy way to get nice gear that's been conditioned and well-worn. Or, well, uh... And... Careful, when you're peeing, make sure that you are actually in the toilet. Okay, so nothing I want from the swap meet, but the swap meets are the perfect way to get affordable gear. It was the first time that I bought my leather jacket. Years ago, was at a swap meet. How you guys doing? Yeah. There's Spider-Man doing here. You should not be here. I was gonna go home. I don't want to hear but it. But it was such a long way down, and I just thought about shooting. And now I gotta hear it. I think I see a few familiar faces. Familiar people. <laughs> Hello. You should wash your hands at least for posterity. It's really warming up in here. And I don't just mean me because I'm very sweaty in this suit. Hi, me again. Part one was all about the setup. You saw what we were working with in a matter of terms. This part is going to be all about the contest itself. So that's meeting the contestant, that's talking about the behind the scenes stuff that goes on. And this is coming from my perspective as someone who has not only judged this particular contest in the past, but also has run for contests before. So think Miss America, or even like RuPaul's Drag Race, but for kinksters. In fact, the very first contest that I ran for, uh, seven, eight, nine, I don't even, how long, I'm old. The first contest that I ran for, I ended up getting second place in an international contest. But I had some experiences there that actually are what drove me to start creating stuff on the internet. I had a back and forth with someone at this contest that was actively involved in the organization, which I'm not going to name because that's not the point of this story, that came up to me and said that it wasn't my time, it wasn't my place, I was inexperienced and didn't know anything about the community. I'm not bitter, but I was really put off by this person's perspective and to prove them wrong. <laughs> I ended up wanting to create this YouTube channel. Wow, this got really off topic. Anyway, this is the start of the actual contest bits, <laughs> where we get to see the contestants for the first time and really interact with them. Contests are amazing driving forces for people. They help you grow and open up in many ways. But most importantly, if you have the time, if you have the effort, if you have the drive and want, please go run for a contest. Show your support, show your visibility, and help change the community for the better. 
So we're doing what's called the number draw. This is the order of the contestants in the contest. And of course, the first two go for the porn. He selects Tom of Finland's Tom's Rubberman, and his number is eight. So they're choosing the numbers for the contestants right now, which is pretty much the order that they go in on the actual contest. And there's actually, there's a lot of contestants. There's eight contestants this year. I'm so glad I didn't have to get, like judge eight contestants last year when I was a judge. It's a very simple process. They all choose a piece of paper that has a picture on it, and then that has a number on the back, and that tells them what order they are in the actual contest. Very simple process for a very intricate contest. And we actually know one of the contestants who's actually been on What's the Saver before. I saw you getting fisted last week on YouTube. Again? Uh, wait, on YouTube? On YouTube, right? Some people you can look at them and they're like, that's a piggy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, who did the Harry Potter rubber episode with me, is contestant number, I don't know what number he is. Good luck, Nico! Speaking of Nico... Hi! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> what number did you end up getting? Six, so I actually started Ooh. with six, and then I get, got six again. Wait, there's 11 contestants? There's 11 contestants. I thought there was only 8. Nope. Holy. So we have uh, Mexico, Japan, France, Italy, London, have San Francisco, Colorado. Uh, I'm telling you who else there is. Uh, Japan, I say Japan. Japan! Come on in, Japan! Okay, how do you feel? Are you, you feeling good? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling good? Yeah. Are you, are you nervous a little bit? Uh, I'm excited. You're, okay, good answer, good answer. Excited. Nerves are good, nerves are good. I mean, I, I feel the nerves, but it's more just excitement because, like, it's about the experience for us. So, you know, being here at MIR, it's about experiencing all of this, getting to meet people in the community that are, like, doing amazing things. And I think it, it's, like, the excitement should be about learning from the people that are here. I think the only thing that I'm nervous about is being in front of a crowd. But I think that's, like, that's normal. Good. You look great. I, you'll be you'll be fantastic. We're rooting for you. Thank you. We're rooting for you. That's just that law. <laughs> Okay, it's about halfway through day one, and I was wrong about the crowd. It is ridiculous. For a Friday afternoon, all these people took work off. It's crazy, but it's good energy for the first day. But I want some food now. It's lunchtime. Why? The Mukbang. Only, the only time. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to inflate their ego. You guys look great. Oh my god. That is amazing. Counted so much. Honey, you did it perfectly. Uh, mm, ooh. Um, Daddy, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, no. There you go. Ready? Oh, you almost got it. Almost. Now roll over. <laughs> no, that's dancing. Uh, puppies don't know how to do any tricks. Doing now. Just act casual, Sandy. Somehow I believe that that's casual <laughs> yeah, for you. Exactly. <laughs> Looking through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look through things. At, okay, this. Okay, this is. Uh, your motivation is okay. new to MIR. Okay. Never, never seen rubber before. Okay. I'm ignoring the fact that you're in it. Uh, <laughs> okay. And fine. I've just come upon you. Okay. okay fine. Um, action. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Sandy. What are you? Oh, oh hi. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. What are you doing? I'm just 
having a look at this. This is a really lovely piece. I kind of maybe need this. Yeah. What's, yeah. What, what is that? It's a Mr. S leather oh. <laughs> rubber <Whoa. laughs> suit. Not Which confusing. is not confusing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cut. Um, it was okay. We'll, we'll, we'll work on the edit. Yeah. Uh, moving up. Just moving, moving up. up. You gotta be shiny. You gotta be shiny. Do not get it on the soles of your feet. Hey, Daddy. Oh, that's I bad. I need, I need some too. No, you never take my boots off. Oh. You don't get any. Rude. None for puppy. Day one, finished. Ah! It's like a completely different space when there's no one in here. <laughs> so many people for a Friday of all days. I mean, wall to wall, this place was packed. And people were hanging out. Daddy and I are exhausted, but we have to go to the fashion show which is a bunch of people wearing the different gear from the different booths as well, some other rubber goods. Uh, and then I have to go home and finish editing. But great day. Thanks for everyone who came out and said hello. We had a bunch of people that came by and just said nice things about what's the safe word. And it just it makes events like this a lot more fun. Now daddy's eating. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Hey, look over there. <laughs> Not gonna work. Don't fall. Don't fall. Ah. <laughs> How was your day? It was good. I'm just sitting for the first time. For the first time. <laughs> Ugh, me too. <sighs> so one of the best parts of these kinds of events besides the Vendor Mart is the after parties. So after the Vendor Mart today is one of the larger kind of get togethers. It's a fashion show. And by fashion show, I meant like showing off the contestants for the first time in their own sense of fashion. fashion. For those that didn't get to see them at the number draw. This is the first time the judges get to see the contestants all on the stage together in their gear and their own sense of style. Fashion. As well as work on that mic. You know what I mean. They get to strut their stuff in their own way. But before that, there's actually a little cocktail hour in the lobby and it gets sexy. <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Are you ready to go find daddy? Yes! Give you a hand. That's battery. <laughs> you waste no time, do you? I got nothing to do with this. I see it. I see it. I see it. Are you? Oh, I like this open floor, like staging. This is cute, very different from last year. How are we doing tonight? Woo! Welcome to MIR 22. Look at you all. Throwing back to the old cell block aesthetic, right? This weekend's contest is when we determine when our who our new Mr. International rubber will be. That's right. Who it's gonna be? Going to the stage, contestant number one. Hi everyone! Contestant number two! Hello everyone! Contestant number three! Hi guys! Contestant number four! Hello am I all? Hello, how is everybody? I'm not from Phoenix, Arizona, as some of you 
Hey, yes. I'm from Mexico City, Mexico. Arriba, Mexico! Up next, Trixie Mattel. Oh my god, I'm giving you lay textbook realness. Bring it to the stage now, contestant number six. Is everyone feeling fabulous tonight? <laughs> now, contestant seven. Meow. Contestant eight. Hi, everyone. Contestant number nine. Hi, baby. Oh, mama. Bonjour. 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 Hi everyone. Bring back my squirrels. Thank you, ladies. While you untuck backstage, the judges and I will deliberate. Hubby, you're, you're doing there. nothing. You're almost there. I believe in you. I believe in me who believes in you. Yay! I also believe in you. Do you? Woohoohoohoohoo, it's gold! It's a little chilly outside right now. What a group! <laughs> that's, that's a lot of people. That was amazing. It's there... bigger than last year, no? Absolutely! Yeah. There's like twice as many contestants, lots more people. It's gonna be hard for him to, like, oh, I, I international I rubber. Oh, do you? I You're gonna it. call it right now? Uh, well, it's between two for me. This is a live prediction. Uh, no, because I'll get in trouble if it doesn't come true. I just, I'll edit it out. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not, I'm not disclosing my opinion. <laughs> I will say it's gotten much colder, <laughs> and I'm not sure, oh no, it's just the wind. It's it just the wind. wind. We need to Chicago. Back That's to the hotel. <sighs> Give me those mouse smacks. Is that what they like? Yeah, I think so. You have you have food in your nose, right? For later. Ew. So we might have stopped the pizza. <gasps> Go ahead. Do you see it? And while normally at these events you go out during the evening, you go party with the people, the judges, the contestants, just kind of socialize, tonight, and I swear tonight's going to be the only night of the actual contest, I actually have to edit. So, honestly, I'm really tired, so I don't really want to go out tonight. So this is going to be the end of tonight, but we do it all over again in the morning, and then tomorrow, the big event, the actual contest. I'm actually really excited. I mean, leave in the comments down below who you think is going to win, and let's see who was right. There's a lot of contestants. We'll just have to wait and see who rubs the judges the right way, uh, or, wrong, or wrong way. Ooh, yeah. Wish me luck! So our, our hotel room has an Alexa. Tell me a pun. Where do sea cows sleep at night? In barnacles. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Can you tell me a bedtime joke? What keeps sheep up at night? Velcro fences. What? The f I'm on the fence about that one. <laughs> See, that was a joke. That, that arguably <laughs> funny. Good morning. It's another Bye. fine day. It's probably freezing outside, but it's nice in here. Are you ready for day two? What a wonderful Okay, sunny day. This weather is so... For you. Yeah, well, I mean, it's cold, but it's at least nicer than snow. <laughs> Today is going to be just like yesterday, honestly, though. Not much changes day to day when you're working the booth. I mean, besides just what you're wearing. Saturdays are the locals. Mm -hmm. They come out because they have the day off. So it's new faces. And then also, there's two types of customers. The ones that come the first day and snatch everything up. And then you're the ones who sit on it for a day and then come the next day and go, oh. Yeah, you know what happens when you sit on something for a day? You end up getting real sore or butt hurt. <laughs> Butthole, chocolate, I don't know. <laughs> butt hurt. <laughs>
Jesus. But the big events today, of course, are the contests. So we find out who wins, and they, they have a bunch of like interviews behind the scenes. We don't actually see. The only parts we see was last night, was that little fashion show, and the actual contest itself, which is this evening which I'm really looking forward to. The show here at MIR, they do a really good job of making it a show, where some contests can be a little long and a little a little too drawn out. They do an actual good job of making it fun and funny, and it gets really messy too. Do you remember that last year, the chocolate sauce everywhere? But, almost to the convention center, gonna grab some much needed coffee, gonna warm up my fingers. Oh uh, yeah, I don't like this up. And then we're getting down to business to defeat. Do you know that song? What? Nothing, never mind. <laughs> so, Daddy, do you know what this symbol is? Yeah. Do you know what it stands for, though? Two rubber guys sliding on each other. Oh. Okay, well, never mind. I don't need to educate people. Then you already know what it means. <laughs> Take it off, Daddy. Whoa. Look at like some sexy music on. So before they let all the muggles into the space. So remember the swap meet we checked out yesterday? It's even more well stocked. So again, always important to double check and see what goods are here. You never know what vintage little gold nuggets you'll find. Some nice pants, biking suits. Nice leather shirt. Tons of shoes. Full body cat suits. Ooh. Any Dalmatians out there? Ooh, some vintage Mr. S leather. Yeah, it's about half price. Nice. So always always check out your hand-me-downs, your second hand shops or swap meets. You might find a good deal. So I went to go get coffee. And of course I come back to this. Excuse me, sir, you're at our booth. Jesus Christ, you scared the shit. Coffee? <laughs> yes, please. I may have done this. It's the reverse way. Wax on, wax off. Get legs! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, you're all shiny and new. Okay, thank you. Day number two, here we go. I'm all rubbered up. And a little sweaty already. Today, let's see if we can't get some uh, footage from inside the pit. And the pit's where people go play and try out new gear. What are you doing? Oh! <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. How are you, babe? I'm good, how are you? Should we just oh, wait, do that? We're, just, we're, just, we're, just, we're both that. holding our cameras like assholes. <laughs> Great. Okay, so midday, having a good time. I think I want to make a round and see all the fun outfits. People go all out with their rubber outfits. Every, I mean, for instance, so cool. So let's see what everyone else is wearing. Daddy, look, it's a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon? Yeah, it's a Pokemon. Violet, you're turning violet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Daddy, be careful. Oh my god. I don't want to. That looks like a lot of work. I have a daddy. He's enough work. Wait, what? I mean, coming. 
Someone's calling me over here. Check out Mr. Friendly. We have an episode with Mr. Friendly. It'll be also linked in the, the thing that goes up there in the icon. I don't know how YouTube works. Mm -hmm. happy, <laughs> happy Friendly Parenthood. I'm a dad now. <laughs> yeah. Is that how that works? Fatherhood? Daddy. Things are certainly heating up. There's so many more people today. But it is now time for the impossibly fun meetup that is the Puppy Mosh. So cute. them all riled up. Uh -huh. Hey puppies, squirrel! Squirrel! Just kidding. Oh. No, 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 oh, gotta go, gotta go, oh jeez, now they're after me. Ah! Bye. Bye. Have a good night. See you later. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye. Oh, you, no, you, you're trouble. We don't trust this one. No, no, no. What, what, is what did this I do? Dude? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I just love a camera. I know. Ah! I know. We know. We know, Sandy. We know. I love you. Bye. I love you too. <laughs> Wait a second. What are you doing over there? I'm getting ready for tonight. Oh? Did you buy some new rubber? I did. Oh. Have you ever? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Serve it. Vogue. Come on, Vogue. Oh, you need to work on your runway walk. <laughs> take two, take two. That is a very wide runway. Okay, now twirl, twirl, finish it. Stick the landing. Uh, um, the, the shirt's really nice, the shirt's really nice. Day two, complete. Uh, now for the best part and why we're all here, the contest. Woohoo! Okay, time for another convention life hack. Um, fanny packs and or utility belts. Literally the best invent like investment I made before this weekend. I can hold everything. Can you hold my boots? No, I can't hold your boots. I knew that was coming too. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> boots are strangely hard to carry. That's because you're not supposed to carry them. You're supposed to wear them. <laughs> Obviously. So after a long day on our feet, and part of the day on our back, we quickly go back, make an outfit change, and we're off to the main event. So I just want to take a MoMA, a moment, mom, a moment to talk about the MoMA. <laughs> because the main event is at the Museum of Modern Art in Chicago, which is just a fascinating juxtaposition of people in like kinky rubber gear, but also looking at 
fine arts. And for the contestants, the most important part of the night, and probably weekend, because they get most of their points here between like pop questions they get asked, and being on stage, and just kind of their presence, but also they get to put together some skits and fun little, uh, well, y you'll see. This is a really cool center. This is actually where the contest is gonna happen tonight. So we get a nice little view of some art. There's drinks, there's food. Why do you keep turning this way? I have to keep walking. I'm showing off the art. Oh, great. And then <laughs> I'm trying to talk here. And then in just a bit, so like 20 minutes, we're gonna go into the actual theater and watch the real, the whole thing, the whole shebang. Oh my God, I can't get away from Dick, even in art. It kind of looks like you're thinking about it. I'm like thinking about Dick. Yeah. <laughs> what's, up, what's, up, what's on your mind over there, Daddy? Dick. Uh, Pop, are you going to drink that or just hold it? Just an intermission. What do you think of the first half? The first half of this contest. Really the opening number made me cry. Oh, it was so pretty. It was so it beautiful. Was very but then we went to the actual questions. Hello, how is everybody doing tonight? So imagine a please line up. Are you feeling sexy? But the <laughs> the skits and fantasies, they're, they're some of them are pretty sexy. They're pretty there. Freeze you. Turn around. This special mask will make sure you become a mindless drunk. And then Felix with his like rubber robin drone. I didn't know what that was, but it looked, it looked like a super super. Hero. super. Do you want to play in rubber? Come on, let's go and play. You never fuck me anymore. Come out the bar, it's like you've gone away. We used to be my buddies, but now we're not. She tie me up and tell me why. Do you want to play in rubber? We only have each other, it's just you and me. What are we gonna do? <laughs> do you want to play a rubber? <laughs> Spain with his whip.
The show so far is really good though. I'm enjoying it. Are you? Yes, it's very good. Cheers. Cheers! Yay! Who do you think is going to win? Uh, oh, I don't know. I've changed my mind now. Maybe Okay, we're back for part two. This is generally where they also do the very messy, often incredibly messy. Last year there was lots of chocolate, didn't look like chocolate all over the stage, messy. Scenes that they get like a bag of goods, it's called the grab bag, and they have to make up a skit with whatever's in the bag, and it could be anything. All right, welcome back everyone. Whether you're here at the Museum of Contemporary Art at Chicago, or watching live stream online, one of our favorites, of uh, categories, which is the mystery bag challenge. All right, so there are a couple of things that each of our contestants has to do. Um, they're gonna choose some random items here. What they need to do is choose at least three of these items, choosing three of those items. Oh my god, I can't believe we're almost done with this trip. And thank god, because this has taken a lot of editing time. I can't even begin to, like, imagine who won. Except that I shot this and edited it, so... Who do you think will win, though? I love this, uh, one-way communication that's happening here. Okay, okay, sorry. Enough edging here. Let's see who wins. I'm so excited! Right! Welcome back, everyone! <laughs> The scores have been tabulated, and we are just moments away from finding out who the next Mr. International Rubber 22 is. Second runner up, contestant number five, Rubber Phoenix. <laughs> Our first runner up, contestant number six, Nico Watson. No offense, Whole Foods, but your coffee's kind of shit. <laughs> You're never gonna get a Whole Foods endorsement now. It's okay, I'll start my own business and I'll name it Whole Foods, H-O-L-E, and we'll sell uh, good bottoming food only. <laughs> it'll, I think it'll compete pretty well. I support this. <laughs> good morning. Day three, the last day of the Vendor Mart. We're about to open up. We went out last night, we had a lot of fun. Um, didn't film much of it. 
One million dollars. And of course, a special shout out to Mr. Montreal, the winner of MIR. Stage presence was amazing. Performances were great. He answered questions very, very thoroughly and his energy was just so, it was so, so riveting. And I am okay with cats every once in a while. But also, well done Nico from San Francisco as first runner up and Felix, second runner up. We know two of the three top three. So well done all three of you guys and all contestants. The contest was so much fun. We had such a lovely time. So I'm probably not gonna have much time here before the booths open up to really decompress anything else, but I've gotta get ready. I've gotta finish my coffee. And we're ready for another jam-packed day full of selling and then packing up this booth. <laughs> this is the, this is my least favorite part of the weekend is putting all these things back in boxes. <sighs> but after the contest last night, we ended up just going to the bar, socializing at the Jackhammer. And there was one thing though, Daddy, come come back, come back. There was one thing last night. I was socializing and getting a drink, but you said that, and I, I saw the interaction, but I didn't hear it. That you had a, a younger kinkster come over to you and tell him about his experiences and the fact that this was his first MIR. Oh yeah, he messaged me on Recon just a, five seconds ago too. He said, thank you for pulling me aside. He didn't know what puppy play was until he watched your videos. And that um, this was his first event and the first time that he was ever in latex and now he loves it. Aww. He's He's totally adorable. But it was a really, really sweet interaction. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for the kind words from people this weekend. It makes makes making videos like this just really important. So we gotta we gotta go work now. But or, some of us are working. Some of us are working. Sometimes Daddy starts dancing at the booth and he doesn't think anyone's watching. <laughs> Getting everything boxed. It's been such a long weekend. How you doing? And we have a full team to help too, which, thank God. You guys are doing lovely. Keep up the great work. Thanks, Mom. You're doing great, sweetie. Hey, Sandy, you wanna, say, no, come back, Sandy, come back. You wanna, do you wanna help? Help to? Like work. Oh. Do you know, do you know what work is? I would really like to, but I don't want to. No, 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 no that wasn't the question. Huh? It wasn't a question. Oh! This way, look, they're having so much fun. Oh! I, I would love to help you, but I'm really busy. Okay, Bye! I, I love this journey for me. I'm so pretty. <laughs> I asked you to package things, not package yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> What, what do you call this look? Princess Leia? Uh, I don't feel like working. <laughs> I like tape. <laughs> okay, stop accessorizing and start packing. <laughs> I think we are done. <laughs> oh my God. We packed up, it took literally an hour. Well done. It's all gone. It's over. It's kind of sad, but also I'm so glad that we packaged everything up. <laughs> Daddy's making sure all the boxes are good. And then we are officially done with this event. Thank you, MIR. Thank you, all the contestants. Thank you, everyone who came to say hello, bought merchandise, or just said they enjoyed What's the Safe Word. You were all lovely. You made the event so, so easy and fun. Especially you, Daddy. Thank you for your help this weekend. What was your favorite part? Was the contest because I think I think that was the nicest contest I've ever been to, actually. It was really well staged, really well produced. I mean, it was just I a lot of fun to watch. Really so now we are gonna go get much needed showers, food, and I think we're gonna go enjoy some show tunes. Your favorite. What does that mean, enjoy? Do I have to sing? <laughs> well, it's not the karaoke, is it? Well, I don't know all the ones, I don't know the Pokemon musicals and shit that you watch. <laughs> They're not gonna have Pokemon oh, musicals. Oh, I bet they'll have a Pokemon. No. Show tunes! <laughs>
my ears. Daddy saying he doesn't know show tunes. Pfft. Contests are life-changing. If you really have the drive to put yourself out there, again, I absolutely recommend doing it. You learn so much, you meet so many amazing people, and if this vlog was not enough proof how much fun they are, go do it yourself. It's not about whether you win or lose, it's it's honestly about the journey and how you present yourself, and that's the tea. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. Thank you for the tea. Anyways, I, I, me in the travel, about to head home, says everything that I need to say. It has been another lovely weekend of seeing all of our friends, of getting to work another great event, of probably getting a little sick. I feel like maybe... And now I just can't wait to sleep in my own bed. But first, a nice little travel montage to end this like, video. Because who knows how long it is at this point. <laughs> It's like, are you filming this? No, I would never. Why would I film you, Sandy? I'm not. I thought you loved the camera. I'm not well. <laughs> well, well for say, Everybody knows that. Face. Get that camera away from my there face. <laughs> But we made it home. We did. We made it back. How was no, your flight, Daddy? He sat in front of me with headphones on, and the guy next to me was like talking to me, and I couldn't tell if he was gay or not until he was like, "And you brought some for your family." I think he thought you were my kid. <laughs> Go on, to him, take a nap with daddy. What's that? That's not a puppy. Um, actually, yes it is. Yay! Oh my god! Ugh! You're home! Ugh! Hey, uh, still here? It, what, what is this, a, a Marvel's end scene credit? <laughs> Maybe. I just wanna say thank you one more time for watching, being patient with me. You did it, you made it through an entire hour of me talking and filming things. I'm sorry. But thank you for sticking around and watching till the end. Uh, if you're still here, I just wanna tell you that there's lots of stuff coming down the pipeline. I have been making content and shooting stuff. We've been ordering so many things from certain websites that people really want us to review again. Clips from a vlog that will be coming down the pipeline of Christopher and myself at an actual porn set. So look forward to some fun new challenges and challenging videos <laughs> coming up soon. If you want to become one of our patrons who are listed in the credits there, the link is down below. So I'm just going to stop talking now and say thank you. Thank you again for subscribing, commenting, liking, and just being part of this wonderful community that we get to create. It means, means a lot. Thank you. Bye.